Greetings everyone, and Great here for another H Myers 3 replay. Spawn on the top left side as the blue US of A, we have Kazi. Spawn on the bottom right side as the red Maltese, we have Crispy Butt HD. When it comes to NATO's map, we do have the House of Vaza, which can give you access to Rural Archivist, the Winged Hazard, and Fast Track Gathering Rate, and some Torps. And up here, we do have the House of Fanar, which do can give you access to Everzone, to the Boyars, and to Sacred Brand Infantry. Additionally, on this map, we do have some cows. The cows must be claimed. I have a bias with cows. I like cows. I want to get a cow. If I ever get a home, I want to get more in the countryside, get a little homestead, and get a cow. The U.S. General is a foreign name. And over here, we got Captain Drawline. I guess he likes the chin of this, uh... Yes. Uh, explorer? What the Maltese? Is it considered an explorer? Or is it called, like... Is it called something different? Is it, like, called, like... I... Lord something? I don't know. Get the emotes are some ones uh, named a little bit differently. U.S. player has like that has gone for the French immigrants, which is a little bit more rare of the immigrants, as well as the Dutch immigrants and advanced saloons. Advanced saloons actually pretty good. Saloons cost what two hundred wood, so basically it is a good alternative to housing. Additionally, gives saloons do give it a gold trickle, so this is actually a pretty good card in my opinion. And it also allows you to get a bit fun with your playstyle. Arkansas Post. Not familiar with this one. Ships three trading posts. Allows markets, saloons, meeting houses to be to build trading post wagons. Not bad. The Aztec episode has something similar, but it doesn't have that little extra effect of pulling out wagons. State militia, long rifles, Springfield Armory, Hamilton Economics. Uh, Virginia General Assembly, Russian American Company, United States Army, 54th Massachusetts Volunteers, Continental Rangers, Buffalo Soldiers, Patriotism, Refrigeration, Textile Mill, Polsky's Legion, Coffee Mill Guns, Knox Artillery Train. Let's see, sets the heavy horse guns to active, improve the hit points, and reduce the build time of heavy cannon artillery so you can get more free cannon. Dance Hall. And he is going for Rhode Island. That's actually also less common as well. Does that one meant for ships? There is some fishing boats for fish on the sea, in the sea. We do got uh, wood trickle. Armenton churches. Ships a number of church wagons allows you to establish additional churches in your town. So there's two church wagons and increase the build limit by two. That can give you a nice experience trickle. That's a good alternative to the Spanish experience trickle card. German tongue, wing uh, core constructions, cords of wood, cords of coin, and our allies. And there's already fan on the field, so you can perhaps get a combo of them and perhaps get them upgrade. Flamethrowers, hospitality, this uh, Vitorosa, just a coin, a Spanish tongue, fire throwers, fire throwers, fixed gun, hired armed pistoliers, hired pandurers, skirmisher from the Balkans. Sovereign Order Malta. Uh, fire Throwers. This got some sort of Fire Thrower deck. D. He's going to give the opponent the D. French Tongue. Russian Tongue. Fire Throwers. Infinite. Rockets. Factory. And Sicilian Supply. So he's going for a Fire Thrower deck. He got, has got them some uh, Rocket Launchers as well as Flame Throwers. Fire Towers. Research this frontier outpost and enable additional powerful short range fire attacks. Oh. So. He just wants to watch the uh, world uh, be on fire, I guess. And he's going for the Quartermaster. Rhode Island. Gives you access to grants, early access to steam power, trading routes, routes, maybe upgrade the railroads for free in any age. Docks may construct steamers in ironclads one age earlier. Is he going to try for naval bombardment? That would be very, very interesting. 
Granted, this is a state deck. Maybe it's worth looking at the other card. Slater Textile Mill grants wood or f food or wood for each settler or fishing boat you currently have. Reduces the cost of trading any new ones. So the more villagers you have, the more food you get. The more fishing boats you have, the more wood you get. Right now it says 420, and right now he has 14. So what is the conversion on that? Three? Is it 30 food per villager? Yep, 30 food per villager. Getting one extra villager makes that math really easy. So this can give you a refund. And look at that. It says, whoops, I hit my microphone. You can go for this at any time. It makes your land villagers cost 30 uh, less food. I'm assuming the fishing boats is different in 20 as well. 20 increase, uh, 20 rebate, or 20 reduction. So you can go for this uh, card at any point in time. It allows an effect. It's similar to medicine. Medicine reduces the build cost of villagers by, like, was it 25%? So... But it also gives a faster production speed. So this is some of the medicine, but applies to both villagers and to fishing boats. Interesting. What is your command? Not a particular great card, in my opinion. Nice to have. You don't really go for medicine, honestly. Yes. Got some regulars. Ten regulars pushed forward. And looks like Red does rescue a dog. Ordo the doggo. Got the general yes. and the regulars on pushed forward. Got a commandery here. As well as a church, as well as a church. So right now he has no military units in the field. Going for settler wagons. Yeah. Going to see some aggression. One villager gets gunned down. It's the Boston Massacre all over again. Oh wait, no, that's the British gunning down U.S. villagers. No, that reference does not work. Got a little bit of aggression there. Doesn't want to deal fight around the command post at the moment. He does have a very wounded villager. May want to send that a bit more safely. Sounds like we're firing with one villager attack. We do have the state cap wagon. Actually, we're seeing some decent damage there. The doggo gains some decent damage and does get deployed out there. Regular is falling back on gun down the general and his dog. Be careful, he may turn, change his name to John Wick. Oh, the Grand Ma- Oh yeah, it's called Grand Master, isn't it? Yes. Uh, if you strike me down, I shall become more powerful than you could possibly imagine. Back when Star Wars was good. Oh, got an outpost. Wait, the Maltese can actually get outposts? Am I stupid at thinking that they can only build commanderies? I mean, they're basically the same stats. Also, 100 more coin is important. I've only ever seen P uh, Maltese ever go for commanderies, never for outposts. Bereit. We do have a trade wagon there. I wonder, what's the other effect for for Rhode Island? The third effect. That must be what, what he went for for Rhode Island, because... Unless... I don't know what is so particular about Rhode Island that he's making use of, uh, but either way, he's now going for Kentucky. We got a number of state militia to support out the regulars. So he has an army of 19 advancing his way forward. We got a very good number of outposts to be employed in the field. They are cheaper than commanderies, they not have to cost a coin. One village took some damage there. If this good number of outposts in this region, it's probably a good idea not to advance in this region. Made a nice mining time, but that's about it. More regulars now being pulled on out. Now going for some Evazon al Fanar allies, which are a skirmisher variant. You can uh, receive some more over here. They cost 140, no coin. Can't remember the exact stats on them. Most of the time it feels like natives are a little bit weaker, but cost no population housing. 
Usually I just associate the cost of the housing is mixed into their base price. Pros and cons about that. Multi's hiring for a heavy amount of coin. Has enough coin to age up. Now it's going to be eyeing for food. Going for some other research. A very fine coat. Some blunderbuss. Placard mines and gain salt. And there's still some cows that can be obtained up here. US player maybe the one who found the cows. It looks like he has found two at least. Maybe Red ate the cows. And our allies do have 11 damage, 16 range. Oh, they're a counter unit primary. Look, the times three anti-heavy attack. So they are a counter unit. Not necessarily a journalist, more generous skirmisher unit. He does have enough resource to age on up now. And now he's going for the Sergeant at Arms. Let's see, Kentucky does give you access to uh, Kentucky Coal Fields. A 200 uh, wood to get two Prospector Coal Mines. There are 2,000 coin deposits that gather twice as quickly. Yes. And he has gotten out the Russian uh, American company, getting out two block houses. He's going to try to torch it down, but the Fanar allies have 12 siege attack. They don't have good siege attack. He's going to lose the Fanar allies. Probably should have kept on running. Now they're going to try to keep on running. That was a bad play there. Now some sharpshooters being pulled on out. The Maltese right now is not pulling out anything. Mix of a uh, skirmisher, regular, uh, heavy infantry. Cannon. Cannon's what uh, the Maltese needs out, or fire, some fire throwers may not be half bad. Cannon, of course, is age three. He does have one shim available. You can get fire throwers or a fixed gun. Fixed gun may not be adequate enough. He does have five to coin. He may be eyeing for... No, the Pandurers may be good. 11 mercenary skirmishers. Fire towers? Outpost set bombard attack minimum range to 10. Attack range minimum to 10. Okay, that just makes it so that if game can 10, it will then allow the fire attack or the fire not have the gun. And he's going for the fixed gun. He's also deploying a fixed gun, so he's going for a pair of fixed guns. After this, he may want to go for fire towers because he will not be able to run forward and burn down the fixed gun with all the fire nearby. Here's players sign for more villagers, have a decent amount of resources stockpiled up. Multis have a good amount of food, but currently not getting anything else. Does not obtain the mill for one food per second. It has a good number of exposed villagers down here, but Blue has not scouted it out. In mines do have smaller amount of coins stored on up. There's the auto constructing fixed gun. This fixed gun has a pull on a field. Costs 100, 600. Only a little bit more expensive than a falconet, honestly. And this gold deposit is being camped by a blockhouse, so he's going to need to clear that out. Though the long range attack ability may be in range? I have no way to uh, measure 60 range attack. Let's see. That's probably the minimum range. That is the attack range of 24. So if I were to double it. It, uh, 60 may reach out to here. <sighs> you have now a number of hospitalers, a halberdier variant of AoE, Order Dragoons. More Order Dragons from the field. Order Dragoons are right now, it's not quite good. He knows about all the state militia in this case. Now the structures mix on in. The Order of Dragoons will be countered. They have good damage, of course, but 
they will receive much more damage in return. Yeah, times 3.10 multiplier versus a uh, range cavalry, light to range. Of course, 40% less to heavy or just cavalry in general. Now going for the uh, Slayer Textile Mill. And now I've got New Jersey. He's going to eye for Industrial. Veteran Sentinel hey, Research. Mike. He does have Frontier Outposts. He's gone for Fire Towers? Looks like he has gone for Fire Towers. Let's see, Fire Tower, Fire Attack. And Siege Damage with a little bit of AoE. Axe Speed for 10 range. A uh, 0.5 attack speed. Looks pretty good. Let me clean up the middle there. It's hard to say how effective these guys are. I think the AoE damage makes them very effective for groups of infantry. So he can't really go up and torch them down. He has to take it out, take them out of cannon. <laughs> And the fixed guns could take out the cannon themselves. They do have, of course, 34 range. And now he's going to be claiming the mill himself. Looks like there's no work going to be near aging up. He has 40 villagers with a number of them being settler wagons. The US players have 30. New Jersey. Crates of uh, shipments from cars deposits directly into a stockpile. Not really that important, honestly. Ships for infrastructure wagons. All shipments arrive because it'll be faster. I'm not sure what infrastructure wagons do, but that can be very useful, depending on what it is, and of course the two uh, factories. Knox artillery trains so is going to get improved heavy cannon. Uh, Heavy cannons. And maybe I'm for some horse wagons. Orders. Horde dragons moving around. They don't have good siege damage. Just so go and try to push forward and hit villagers. They do half damage versus villagers as well. And let's just go push this way forward. We do have some horse guns being flown field. So it's like I am for the horse guns. That villager did not take some damage, I assume, from the volley. Yes. Dark the way forward. Blue's gonna push his way back. The dragoons are gonna be countered by this force. They have 28 range. Regulars have 33. Granted, they don't have any, they have range just while the regulars have more melee resist. But dragons, they cost 90 90, while regulars just cost uh, uh, 105. So the regulars overall can be much more effective in this situation. The dragons were a horrendously bad choice, in my opinion. He also needs to split formation, he needs to leave behind the non mobile troops and run away with everything else. Now I've got the horse guns now pushed way forward, heavy horse guns. And the dragons are gonna try to run away. Nope, they're gonna try to engage the horse guns. Horse guns, like I'll actually have 75% range resist. And that force gets cleaned on up. He needs, he needs culvern and skirmishers. It'll take more than that to keep me down. U.S. General has now been recovered. Now Blue's Navy on counterattack has a good number of sharpshooters now floating out. We got a number of Order Lancers, which are an anti-infantry unit, and he's fighting against only skirmishers, so Order Lancers are going to be a good item in this situation. Multis can now age up. By this one time, he needs not to age up and invest his force uh, in money into uh, an army. And now he's going for the war minister of war, the war minister. 
some of these villagers are pushed away forward. They will be cleaned on up. This block house is still keeping this gold deposit, and now we got even towns out of here with some French villagers. A number of villagers here. He has no coin to claim. He's going for estates. He's back in the corner, but he does have a bit of wood to make multiple estates. And now that these villagers have no upgrades increased to prove their coin collection, they have 0.5 per second. In comparison, I suppose these just French villagers are making one. Manager wagon now pushing up here, receiving fire from the blockhouse. Villager's pushing up here, but he's going to send over his horse guns to quickly finish off the commandery. And we'll also be able to gun down villagers pretty easily. He does have one shipment available. I'm not sure... I have no idea what he should go for. Villager's falling back, commandery, and nothing loaded on up, so he can't just, uh... Dismount everything nearby. I don't think he even has a standing army at the moment, does he? Where does the uh, Lancers go? Oh, there's his Lancers. And they find opportunity to hit these uh, horse guns. Oh, this is can be very massive. Uh, horse guns move fast. They move at po 6 miles, while these guys only move at 6.75. So, he find a good opportunity there to start engaging his horse guns. He may want to see, avoid the villagers go straight for the horse guns. The horse guns are providing much more to provide much more value. Plus, they don't get bonus damage to the settlers. Horse guns can be sitting on up. Horse guns will not be sitting up. Those he lost vision. And I think Red sort of squandered this. He had an opportunity to take out those horse guns, but he did not. It's going to stand and fight. Regulars will do bonus damage in melee, but they will receive bonus damage in return. Some of these guys are just over there, or controlled by red. And the rest, and the two remaining order lances will be falling back. Got more dragoons here. Dragoons is not what he wanted to pull on the field. Got some uh, Aliskas. Not sure, is that. Okay, that's a culvern upgrade. That would be useful. It will be useful, I should say. This one factory is now available right here. It looks like a good spot from a factory. And he probably should apply a heavy cannon with it. He's fighting against an infantry or horse gun uh, army. Heavy cannon will do great. He's trying to find these villagers. They're, these guys are not good for villagers. Order Lancers have a relatively low base damage. The biggest capability is the bonus damage is infantry. If you want anti infantry uh, villager uh, cavalry, you need to go with the Russian tongue. Got a couple of the. Basks. Basculus. Finds a sharpshooter there. That's. We'll go down quickly to the Order Lancer. Now Blue's trying to push the way forward. Force Guns do times 2 damage for the structure, so 300. Culverns finds a good follow there on the Horse Gun. Heavy uh, fixed guns. Push way forward. Got the Flamethrowers also engaging. Does quickly pick out one. And the Infantry Force is getting annihilated. This infantry force is probably pretty close to being disintegrated, honestly. Yeah, now we're seeing some fire there, trying to torch down the fixed guns. Order Lancers find an opportunity to hit some of the horse guns. Now it's going straight for these uh, villagers. General does go down there. Factory now being under siege. Remember, these are skirmishers. They have less siege damage. And so the, the factory will not be going down, likely. He's used the bombard attack over here as well. He did lose most of his uh, posts. Uh, yep. Need to uh, mainly target some of the stuff. Don't hit this guy, hit these guys. 
Oh, looks like they're within the minimum range. Yep, they're within the minimum range. So he needs to get out something there. The Order Lancers can pick them off. More Basilisks. Now he's going for... Ah, he is going for Heavy Cannons, but that's the food upgrade, right? I should go for the Heavy Cannon upgrade. Right now, the Maltese has 60 villagers. The US players have 52. I'm not building any more at the moment. And actually, it's going for Imperial Age? Where are the Imperial Age states? I have no idea of what the US can deploy on Imperial Age when it comes to states, because I... Nobody ever really goes to Imperial Age in a 1v1. It's very rare. We got more sharpshooters being flown on the field. Russian Tongue has been research. These uh, Orpogenics, they do have decent damage, okay damage in melee, but they have really good multipliers versus villagers, and the siege damage is absurdly high. The factory's fine. He may want to repair up the factory. And the US player is not eyeing for Imperial Age, going for a number of guard carbine cavalries. And it's going for howitzers. And these are skirmishers, they will not do bonus, they will do less damage versus the heavy cav. And this stuff will quickly get torched on down. They will do decent damage versus uh sharpshooters. They just have to rely on the less damage received. They're not Lancers. And now he's going for the Buffalo Soldiers. There's a Carving Cavalry. There's a Dragoon variant to engage with. Got some Order of Lancers on the field as well. Another round of Sharpshooters as well. He's going to stand and fight. And his Cavalry will be cleaned on up. Oh, we got the Basilisk setting on up. Or running away. The Maltese still has heavy cannon being employed on the field. Got Hospitallers and more Order Opportunics. The Opportunics, in the next uh, big engagement, he may want to send a group of them up here and start breaking this area during big uh, conflict. He may just want to sort of dig in and when it's this player start pushing in. You can send up the uh, ore pitcher next and clean up the north, but we do have that gold mine almost completely seized. This gold mine is almost completely seized. This tin mine has not been touched. And this tin mine, oh, 20 coin remaining. That is basically gone. Maltese has another shipment available. No, he knows about the uh, carbon cavalry. So going for more skirmishers would be good, like the Perners, Pandurs. There's the Orpachinex, or however you pronounce this. A little bit of damage there. Wait, there's a US factory way up there? If he sees that, he should focus that down big time. Carving cavalry right there. Going to start focusing it. He's doesn't he is auto-attacking it. And the carbon cavalry should be able to save it. We got a good number of howitzers now pulled on the field. Basilisk will do great work against them, as well as the heavy cannon. Hospital flares are good melee cavalry. Howitzer down. Does get out of range there. From my other color scheme. Heavy Cannon going way too far forward. Heavy Cannon's going to just be sacked. Gets one shot there and goes down. Another Heavy Cannon there. He needs, he's lacking any escort for the cannon. He has quite a bit of food and wood. Maybe just go for massive crossbows at this point in time. And the uh, baskets are not hitting the howitzers. Now some of them are. He needs to rotate them, hit the howitzers. Yeah, poor control there by Red. I think as well, against uh, fixed guns, you can use culverins. These guys are classified 
as artillery as well as building so culverins will be bone sandwiches and you don't have to use howitzers howitzers do have a bombard attack to outrange which is a fixed gun and now we do have the heavy fixed gun research going for some more hospitalers does get shot there Ortiz player has plenty of food and wood at the moment. At this point in time, he can't really be picky at what he deploys on the field. He needs something. If he can, shouldn't be streamed this way forward. Got a good number of US mortars in the field. And the heavy cannon will get overwhelmed. Hospitalers push away forward. They will get countered by the sharpshooters. They do have a good amount of health, but they have melee resist. Got a good bombard attack there, but looks like very few of the howitzers actually went down there. One of the heavy cannons do go down. It's a good shot there. Now the rest of the stuff is being sieged down. This player bring another factory. And there goes the heavy cannon. And there's nothing to, to be deployed on out. Let's give me a saw of some wood in order to get some coin. Heavy Cannon, once again, will get overwhelmed. He's been very foolish with the Heavy Cannon. Pushing him for no escort is always a bit of a problem. Now going for the Sovereign Order of Malta. And yeah, the red space is just going to be clean gutted. I think this is going to be the end of the game. I think it's just going to let this stuff go down. seen anything that would be really considered laming, honestly. That's going to revolt to the Barbary States. Now there's some Corsair marksmen, as well as the uh, Barbary Warriors over charges way forward. What's this turtle first? You're talking about his own stuff? He's doing, was doing a bit more turtling than his opponent. These uh, Barbar Warriors are going to find the Howitzers there. The deck, I'm not sure what deck cards will be used for this moment. It's starting to clean up his opponent's force, but he has very little income at the moment. Howitzers just annihilated uh, some of those Barbary uh, Warriors. They have 200 health, good melee resist. Get, okay, this will give him six uh, villagers and naval settlers once again to be built from town center. They don't have these part warriors don't actually have any improved health because they're not classified as Maltese units. Nor the Corsair marksmen. If uh, these part warriors do have really good move speed, that's for, for sure. Trying to push the way forward. Don't see anything like a coin upon kill experiment bounty. US player right now is going for a large amount of research and I'll bring in some Gatling guns. Gatling guns will be a good counter. He has plenty of wood and food. I'm not sure why he's not uh, deploying out much more. some state militia ready to fire 
Oh, he must have the coffee mill guns. Yes, he does. So now these are fully automatic Gatling guns. Do have a heavy cannon still on the field. The heavy cannon could be very useful in dealing with the uh, Gatling guns, but there's probably too many. Holy crap! Now that's a power fantasy. Everything's now dead, barring the heavy cannon. So we've got some Barbary Corsairs here. We've got the Villagers. Oh, the cards can get out. Air Berbers. So we got some uh, Air Berber Nomads for each trading post and towns under control. Berber Allies, Team Nazanta Riders. More Barber Warriors, Corsair Marksmen, and Fort Wagon. These guys just aren't high enough quality to warrant an age for a revolt, honestly. That's not useful. Outlaw combat's not gonna be useful. Yeah, I don't think the uh, Barbary states offer enough value. Uh, go ahead and send that to me as a DM, DM so I won't forget about it because today is Age of Empires 3. And that is the end of the replay. This is Anne Grade saying, thank you for watching, and on to the next replay.